While pill testing has been successfully trialled at music festivals here in Canberra, the question whether it should be used across Australia remains as vexed as ever. For some it's about harm reduction, others see it as a tacit acceptance of illegal drugs. But tonight's foreign correspondent program explores a possible compromise which might allow politicians and pill testing advocates to meet in the middle. Here's Tom Tilly. If that was a pill, would you scrape some of the pill? Is that how you... An unlikely sight in the halls of Parliament House. A pill testing demonstration aimed at convincing politicians about its benefits. So here we go, we're going to measure the, measure the sample now. This is the team behind the two pill testing trials held at Canberra's Groove in the Moo Festival, a front of house approach where festival goers walk in with their drugs without getting arrested. Our real magic is actually engaging with people, people who often haven't spoken to anybody about their drug use. Other states and territories have so far balked at following the ACT's lead, arguing it encourages drug use. But front of house testing is not the only option. At several of the biggest festivals in the UK, they use back of house testing. Here at Boomtown Fair, wheelie bins full of drugs that have either been confiscated or handed in under amnesty are delivered to a mobile lab inside a secure police compound. Trevor, we've got another sample here. What is it? It looks as if it's crystal MDMA. It could probably just as easily be NFL pentalone because the two look similar. If the team finds any substances of concern, they alert festival organisers, who then send warnings to medical and welfare teams, as well as the general public. If an XC tablet was picked up and there was PMMA in it, which is pretty lethal, you might be able to say, we've saved someone's life. Last year, a Victorian parliamentary committee recommended back-of-house testing be introduced at festivals in Australia. But Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews rejected the idea, and even some front-of-house testing advocates argue it lacks the crucial face-to-face -face counselling intervention. A New South Wales coroner investigating a spate of music festival deaths is considering a range of harm reduction ideas. Those findings are due out later this year. Tom Tilley, ABC News.